Okay, good morning everyone. Here we are. Daisy's puppies are going to be 10 days old today. The puppies are doing great. If you check out our Facebook page, Shasta Staffords and Dobermans, uh, you guys can see some of the updates. But what? I'm not supposed to uh, swear on YouTube, but I'll just say what a shit show this has been because um, uh, I always say, you know, you never can go into breeding. We all say this with the faint of heart. And the thing is, uh, you always expect if you breed long enough, which I'm really not a long time breeder, people say that I have all this experience, but I've never claimed to have this much experience. I have learned a lot from my mentors and they have 60 years experience. And I do do things differently because I've learned from them enormous amounts, but then I've researched and gone beyond in certain areas I'd like to think but anyway I always try to be humble because of things like this you stay in it long enough and they say you expect uh you know to see something or other all the time well I didn't know it would be all in one litter so right when I was in euphoria after Daisy had settled in to become a totally exceptional mom after the initial aggression which we weren't sure ever where that came from but there's a lot of theories, and I w it's actually enlightening, so keep listening, and I'll kind of add as I go along. I think with all this experience and uh, stuff, and my first experience with having, when I had the little cleft lip puppy that uh, is eight years old now, I want to still write a book about that, because I feel like I learned so much, um, because I'm a researcher by nature anyway. Oh, Shaq sees the bonnie. Good girl, Shaq. Shaq, you see the bonnie? And so anyway... Here's the amazing great news, but here's the bad news. Daisy came down with mastitis, something I've never had or seen before in our dogs. Uh, but apparently it's not uncommon. Apparently it's not as common, though, as in sheep and uh, cows and other animals. But anyway, we caught it fairly early. Lexi actually noticed Wednesday that things were looking weird. And I'm such a normally, like, I don't want to say pessimist, but worrywart. But I think even I, because Lexi's a worrywart too, so I, like... God, please don't give me this drama right now. I think in the back of my head I was just suppressing it. And then by Thursday, after I'd given Lexi the day off because everything was bliss, I noticed Daisy wasn't eating as much. And I looked and I did see uh, purple coloring and hardness in the teeth. And sure enough, uh, then when I called the vet, uh, oh, and then later that evening, after being a perfect mom for two days, and I mean perfect, like doting, uh, she snapped at the puppies. This way, girls! And so what happened, good girls, is uh, we um, got her on antibiotics, and then the puppies had diarrhea, so that was a joy. But I've talked to a bunch of people, my mentors have had multiple cases of mastitis and never used antibiotics, and they said, looking at the pictures, it wasn't as bad as what they've had, so... They didn't really think I should probably keep them on, but I think they probably are right, to be honest. But whoops, I almost fell in the pond here, Shaq. I'm, I'm trying to get the dogs and talk at the same time. But anyway, I did, um, I'm keeping them on the antibiotics after talking to yet another person who I really respect. It's like a balancing act. I probably think they don't need it because all day yesterday we compost, we cabbage leaf. I happen to know from some friends on Facebook that the new research is showing egg yolks are good. And interestingly, they don't have to be raw. And I had given Daisy lots of eggs along this, since the puppies have been born, I cook scrambled eggs in the morning. Today she had literally scrambled eggs and steak, um, even good quality steak too, because we couldn't go to Walmart. Uh, we had to go to like the boutique store last night. So I've been feeding her just whatever she'll eat but anyway she's back to being a perfect mom and I just want to talk about my little shack who's heading into 14 and older dogs probably just like older people they really need their routine and Shaq has been missing me so much and I mean I, I do I'm proud of Al he's rising to the occasion on everything he can do and again he is almost 20 years older than I am and this was never his thing anyway so I'm really proud of what he's doing but he can't see all the whoops i gotta make sure nothing's over there it's okay duke here it's all right dukey this way this way here dave make sure nothing's there i got my taser and everything i don't we're usually out here completely alone but she's just been more vigilant so i think she's just looking at the bush uh we're coming hun good girl i think it's okay mommy doesn't see anything i think it's the shadows it's real bright finally getting some three days of sunshine here but uh anyway uh, Shaq, 
she started like with way more stiffness and limping. Al was also cutting out some of the supplements. Not because he wanted to, but because I just didn't want to overwhelm him. And I thought he was given one that he wasn't giving. So the supplements work. But more it's her daily walks with me. I think she, I challenge her more on the walks in the hills. Did you see something up there, Daisy? A lot of times we have a lot of deer out here. Oh, wait a minute, hon. All right, let's go this way. Let's go this way, everybody. Here's Chef. Um, all right, I had some, it makes me nervous having Daisy off the property, too, uh, because... I don't know if I mentioned, but the other day uh, when I took Asher, a St. Bernard came running out of our new neighbors. So it's just constant drama and you can hear the anxiety, I'm sure, in my voice. But anyway, last night was the first night that, uh, well, the, my mentor said, whatever you do, let her keep nursing. And the vet said that too. And so we nursed, we compressed, we everything. Well, she barely left the pen for God knows a long amount of hours. Uh, she went to the bathroom maybe once in, I don't know, 15, 16 hours, and she wouldn't eat that much. But this morning she had her steak and eggs, and all the nipples looked normal. So I actually think she might already be out of it, but I'm going to take a risk. It's a benign antibiotic, according to my friend, and I'll keep her on it four days. So I'm going to turn this off in a minute because I just want to try to enjoy the walk. But anyway, yeah, last night was the first night I would say I got seven maybe even eight hours sleep but not of course combined but the longest stretch for sure I would say that I've ever had like multiple three-hour stretches with only waking up five or six minutes in between to check the puppies oh and our little guy I think he's doing great and all this I've been relocating him to the fat nipple when I can but he seems to be doing really well with this chronic mom in the pen because every time I look over he's over there and so um I'm real happy about that. Tiger is his name. There's flower themes for everybody. If you guys check out Facebook, you'll be able to see the official names, which I'm super proud of. Lexi came up with quite a few of the pun names, but I did come up with the name that I'm, one of the names I'm most proud of for our huge blue chunky guy who came out first. And uh, he's named Lotus, and I'm calling him, the theme of the litter is the flower theme, but the motto is his official name, which is going to be Shasta's No Mud, No Lotus, because... God knows it is true, but a lot of times we just want the lotus. So anyway, everybody have a great day. Thanks for all the support.